Welcome to this tutorial on using ROS2 with MATLAB and Simulink. Here's the learning path we'll be following throughout this tutorial. In this session, we will focus on another core concept of ROS2, the ROS2 action. Let's take a closer look at the detailed outline for today's session. What is ROS2 action? We'll begin by understanding what a ROS2 action is and its role in the ROS2 ecosystem. Customize action. Definition. We'll discover how to tailor action message definitions to meet specific application requirements. Action server and action client in MATLAB. We'll explore how to create and manage action server and client using MATLAB. Action client in Simulink. We'll then transition to Simulink to demonstrate how to set up action clients. In ROS2, an action refers to a long-running remote procedure call that includes feedback and the ability to cancel or preempt the goal. For example, a high-level state machine running in a robot's planning subsystem might call an action to instruct the control subsystem to rotate 180 degrees, which could take several seconds or even minutes to complete. Throughout the process, the control subsystem can provide feedback on the current angle and ultimately send out the result of the action. The planning subsystem has the option to cancel or preempt the rotation to the expected angle. In this scenario, the control subsystem is called the action server. It is the entity that accepts the remote procedure request and performs the specified procedure. It is also responsible for sending feedback as the action progresses and responding to cancellation or preemption requests. The planning subsystem is called the action client. It is the entity that requests the action server to perform a procedure on its behalf. In the example above, the action client creates the initial message containing the command and waits for the action server to execute the sequence and return the result, with feedback provided along the way. Here is an animation from the ROS2 documentation webpage that provides more details on how ROS2 actions work. Actions are built on topics and services. While their functionality is similar to services, actions have the added capability of being canceled. Additionally, actions provide continuous feedback, unlike services, which return only a single response. Actions use a client-server model, akin to the publisher-subscriber model. An action client node sends a goal to an action server node, which acknowledges the goal and returns a stream of feedback along with a final result. Next, we will move on to customizing action definitions in MATLAB. In ROS2, an action message definition is specified in a .action file. This file defines the structure of messages used in the action communication process, and it is divided into three distinct sections. Goal, Result, and Feedback. The Goal section defines the message structure for the goal that the action client sends to the action server. It specifies the parameters required to initiate the action. This Result section defines the message structure for the result that the action server sends back to the action client upon completion of the action. It contains the outcome of the action. This feedback section defines the message structure for the feedback that the action server sends to the action client during the execution of the action. It provides real-time updates on the progress of the action. To customize the definition of an action, we will demonstrate this in the next session, along with creating an action server and action client in MATLAB. Next, we will move on to customizing the action definitions and creating ROS2 action server and action client in MATLAB. Let's begin with an example demonstrating how a ROS2 action for a counter might look. This counter can also function as a rotational controller for a robot. First, create a ROS2 node for the action server. When listing all available actions, we find no actions available in the ROS2 network. Before creating an action server, it is essential to define and create the action messages. Under the custom folder and the turtlesim folder, 
create a dot action file in the action directory. In this file, define a 64 bit float for the goal, a Boolean for the result, indicating whether the action is finished, and a 64 bit float for state feedback. After defining these, compile the action messages to generate the custom message package. When listing all available message types in MATLAB, we should see rotate feedback, rotate goal, and rotate result in the list. We can also explore these action message definitions in detail. Now we are ready to create a ROS2 action server by specifying the action name, action type, and the callback functions. For the callback functions, we can define the callbacks for receiving a new goal, canceling the current goal, and the process or algorithms for executing the goal. For the callback function of executing the goal, increment the state by one at each time frame, in this example, one second, and send the feedback of the state until it reaches the goal. On the other hand, we create a ROS2 node for the action client. When listing available actions, we should find the rotate action and its associated message type in the list. We can also display the action message definitions in detail. Next, we create a ROS2 action client by specifying the action name and action type. We create an action message and specify the goal. In the example, it's 10. We then send the goal to the action server by specifying the action message and the callback functions for receiving the feedbacks and result from the action server. In this example, the callback functions simply display the received message. Once the action message is sent from the client to the server, we will see the results from both the action and the client sides.
When the action is executing, we can also cancel the goal from the client. Next, we will use another example, the turtle sim, to demonstrate how to rotate the turtle using a ROS2 action. First, create a ROS2 node for the action client in MATLAB. When listing all available actions, we find an action called turtle1rotateAbsolute is available in the ROS2 network. However, when listing the available message types in MATLAB, its associated message type turtle sim rotate absolute is not in the list. So it is essential to define and create the action messages before creating an action client. To figure out the definition of the action message definition, we can use the ROS2 interface command from the Ubuntu virtual machine. Under the custom folder in the TurtleSim folder, create a .action file in the action directory. In rotate absolute .action file, copy and paste the definition. After defining these, compile the action messages to generate the custom message package. When listing all available message types in MATLAB, we should see action message definition in the list. We can also explore these action message definitions in detail. Now we are ready to create a ROS2 action client by specifying the action name and the action type. We create an action message and specify the goal. In the example, the goal theta is set to pi, representing a 180 degree rotation. We then send the goal to the action server by specifying the action message and the callback functions for receiving the feedbacks and result from the action server. In this example, the callback functions simply display the received message. Once the action message is sent from the client to the server, we will see the turtle is rotating towards the goal.
When the action is executing, we can also cancel the goal from the client. Next, we will move on to creating ROS2 Action Client in Simulink. Similar to the previous example of Turtle Sim, we will demonstrate how to rotate the turtle using a ROS2 Action in Simulink. In the Simulink model, use the Send Action Goal block to send the goal to the Action Server. Specify the appropriate parameters, such as the Action Class, Action Type, and Sample Time. We then use the message block to create the goal message. We add a button to refresh and send the goal along with the logics defined in Stateflow. We observe the feedbacks from the action server by using the monitor action goal block. To cancel the action, we use cancel action goal block. Similarly, we add a button and some logics in Stateflow to send the cancellation command. Starting the simulation in Simulink, we can see the turtle is rotating. Input and feedback signals change as different goals are sent to the action. We can also cancel the goal from the client while the action is executing. I hope you now have a clear understanding of ROS2 Action and how to create action servers and clients in both MATLAB and Simulink. Thank you for participating in this session. In the next session, we will explore the ROS2 parameter. By the end of this session, you will have gained a thorough understanding of the ROS2 parameters. I look forward to continuing our journey in the next session.